Hello artists. Today I'm going to be showing you how to finish out the sketchbook page. <clears throat> um, you're going to need watercolor, water, a paintbrush, but if you don't have watercolor I will show you an alternative to making all of this nice shading here or shadows. So first I'll start with a watercolor and you'll be using black today. Dip your paintbrush in the water make that nice and wet and then you can start applying the black paint around your objects you want to start closest to the object first and then uh, blend it out this will make it look more realistic put down my watercolor and you're going to take a little extra water on your paintbrush and you just blend it down. So all I did on that second part was just use a little extra water. I didn't put any more paint on my brush. Now if you want that edge to be darker, apply a little bit more paint from your paint tray. Just right there at the top. You can head, go ahead and do this all the way around each object. And just sort of let the watercolors um, bleed or do what they want to do. It's Sometimes it's very hard to control watercolor because when you add water, it um, bleeds out. Here. And if you want to do it up on this top edge, you can too. Oops, I got some on there. That's okay. You can also, in each of these individual little um, paint palettes, do the same thing. Grab a little bit of your black paint, put it around, like toward the one side of it. Take some water on your paintbrush and sort of blend it out. little bit more water and I'm just gonna kind of blend this out. Now if your um, paint palette here starts to kind of blend in with this black shadow, well, you can just layer your watercolor. You can add a little more black here, make it darker. The more you layer um, the paint on, the darker it'll get. So now your edges will look even darker. Okay, and then you can go ahead and do that. I'll show you here for each of the objects. So here I did the same thing and my marker. And then I did it right around here on all of these also. And that's how you get that really cool realistic effect. So what I'm gonna do next is show you what to do if you don't have watercolors, and that's totally okay. So you can just use a regular pencil um, or a black colored pencil. And you'll do kind of the same thing, but instead of with watercolor, you're gonna use a drawing tool. So on this, on, on the edge of your objects, you're gonna color pretty dark with your pencil and you'll get the same effect. And then you will press a little lighter with your pencil. So it's dark toward the edge of the object and gets lighter as you work your way out. And again, you can layer this too. So if you want that edge to be even darker, you just press a little harder and go back over it. And the next thing you can do if you wanted is you could take your finger and kind of smudge it. Your finger becomes a drawing tool here. And you can do that all the way around each object. So you can go down here and do that again with your Make it really dark toward the object's edge. I'll press a little lighter when you've come out. Doesn't matter how far out you go. And then you can smudge it with your finger. It's 
So that is how you can create this realistic effect and the shadow using either watercolor or pencil. You can use black colored pencil too if you'd like. So when you're completely done, you have to do one more thing and you need to sign it because this is a pretty nice piece of artwork. So go ahead, sign your name, your initials, and give it a date. I always just um, put the year that I made something, but if you wanted to put December, you could. And then take a picture of this and upload it to Seesaw for me. I'm really excited to see all of them. I hope you had a really good time making them. Enjoy.